Activision Blizzard has found itself in a number of major headlines mm-hmm. from the culture of harassment, abuse, misconduct, and discrimination that has been exposed to the Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard that's still in the works. And now they're making headlines after the latest financial results has revealed a performance that isn't adequate, isn't ideal, while the company is far from like crashing and burning. The fact of the matter is that what these companies are looking for and what investors are looking for is growth. And on that front, Activision Blizzard is struggling quite a bit, having lost quite a number of players this last year, active monthly users, and uh, their revenue and their bookings have generally been lower than years past. So... This was reported by New Satellit GameSpot in an article whose headline reads, Activision Blizzard loses 60 million monthly active users in the past year. You read? That is fucking ridiculous. Like, that is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like, oh my god, how do you lose that many people? What is this? That right. That's a ton of of players no doubt it has in part to do with the allegations of harassment abuse misconduct and discrimination with employees having backed those claims that has led many to be disgusted by this company and just up and leave and then there's the state of games like world of warcraft which many have been departing from in favor of superior experiences like final fantasy 14 Mm -hmm. and whatnot but reading through this article will kind of i don't know how many people really quit over uh over the scandals you know what i mean i'm not really sure i i'm not going to expect a lot of people quit over the scandals me me i did really i don't know like i didn't like i feel that's a lot of people are saying i did but i don't really know if that's true so it's really hard for me to say but the thing is like this is what the numbers are and they did have this bad thing happen so it's hard for me to say it, it's not true, too. Paint a clear picture of what their financial situation and the engagement situation is when it comes the to the company's yeah. gaming Straw products. The the so the article begins with Activision Blizzard has released its latest quarterly financial report, and the numbers were not good for the publisher, with revenue, player numbers, and Call of Duty unit sales all coming in lower than before. So this financial Damn. briefing was for the quarter ending on March 31st, 2022. I will and- have to say that like this is the same thing with Netflix and everything else is that you're going to see this happen more just simply because of COVID. Because like COVID, there were a lot of people that were at home all day. And because they were at home all day, they didn't have anything else to do. So they were all subscribing to Netflix. Like people, like I was talking the other day, like people would like adopt pets and like now people are trying to return pets to like the pound and stuff because they don't have time to take care of their pet anymore. Like this is very common that's happening. And and with the pet thing, it's in an unfortunate way. So it's not a surprise to see this. And uh, I, I don't know if this is necessarily only because of COVID. I think it's probably a confluence of events. There's probably like five or six or 10 things that's causing this, not just one. And the reported revenue was $1.77 billion, which is a lot. But last year, during the same time period, they had generated $2.28 billion. So when you look at numbers like that, that's quite a drastic reduction. Then you got net bookings, which amounted to $1.48 billion, which was down from $2.07 billion last year. And finally, you got in-game net bookings, which came to $1.01 billion, a decrease from $1.34 billion, just a downward slope across the board. You, You look at this number, right? And like one way to look at it in a better percentage is like you don't look at it in terms of the numbers. You look at it in terms of the percent. So like 2.2 to 1.7, like what percent is that? That's like 30, 40 percent. Or I think it's like 30, around 30 percent. Uh, one point, uh, 2.0 to 1.4. That's very clearly, obviously down 25 percent. Uh, one, uh, 1 million from 1.34, that is down almost pretty much 1.333 repeating of course percent that's like a third it's not like they're losing you know like uh you know we lost a few million dollars this year and it's a multi-billion dollar company it's whatever right we're just treading water 
down 30 percent is brutal or billion dollars a quarter just you're a right downward slope you're right it was across a quarter. the board wrong. when it comes to the money that they made in this time period and then there is the player number of things with a more specific number provided in this paragraph in terms of player numbers mm -hmm. activision blizzards overall monthly active users amounted to 372 million for the quarter which is still a substantial number of players but we're down from a whopping 435 million players during the same period last year a drop of over 60 million closer to 63 million players that the company has lost this past year. Oh Activision Blizzard's God. active users and player base crashed by a pretty significant 15% oh my God. of last year's total. As for Activision's explanation for why all of this happened, well, a major contributor That's was a lot called of people, Duty yeah. Vanguard not selling particularly well or not selling as well as many of previous Call of Duty entries in the modern era. Activision confirmed that it sold worse than Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Additionally, Warzone, the free-to-play Call of Duty experience, had lower engagement than usual. Not but from bots. I hear that Warzone has such a bad bot problem. Like, I haven't played it in a long time, so I'm not really sure, but I've heard a lot of bad stuff about it. Call of Duty Mobile has performed about the same as it did in years prior. Total net bookings for the Call of Duty series across console and PC, however, did decline. Now, Activision Blizzard is trying to paint a positive picture for the future mm -hmm. by promoting some of their upcoming projects oh, like course. the next major Call of Duty entry, Modern Warfare 2, which is slated to release at the end of this year, I believe. And they also promoted a new Call of Duty Warzone game that is on the way. Activision's really placed all of their eggs in the I'm Call of Duty basket. The poor performance of Call of Duty Vanguard, the comparatively poorer performance of that entry set them back quite a bit financially this quarter, and they're trying to make it up by just shipping more Call of Duty and hopefully more compelling Call of Duty than Vanguard, which, you know, wasn't anywhere near as bad as, say, a Battlefield. But Warzone was a genuinely good game. I, I, I still think that Warzone's one of the best BRs out there. It, it's, it's fucking amazing. I love it. So it's like, yeah, of course they should just make more of that. Make that better. Like, stop trying to add in other stuff that people clearly don't care about. 2042, but it added... Could, they they killed Warzone with the World War II era stuff? Yeah, like, people don't give a fuck. Like, nobody wants to use some fucking machine gun that doesn't work very well. People want to use, like, the new high-tech cool guns. Like, I mean, that, that's just the truth. Like, that, that's what it is. That's why Modern Warfare was so good issues and it just didn't draw the in a whole 98? lot of attention oh, and fuck. interest not on the level that past entries have the activision insists that when it comes to modern warfare 2 it'll be the most advanced experience in franchise history while warzone 2 will have groundbreaking innovations companies say stuff like that all the time they sure do only time will tell whether these uh buzz phrases will actually hold true Whatever. To be fair, I thought that loadouts and, um, you, you know, the get, get your loadout and also like the gulag with Warzone did make the game very different than, let's say, Fortnite or, or PUBG. I thought it was good. And so uh, you had like the forge, you could make the guns. That was great. So I, I, I'm not saying this won't happen, but, you know, let, let's actually wait for it to happen. Buyback. Yep. There you go. There, there was a lot of really big innovative things with Warzone that made it so popular the hell most advanced experience and groundbreaking innovations means i guess we'll see next up we got information on how blizzard a subsidiary of activision did oh, here we go. their financial results in the first quarter here were we down year over year due to a lack of major releases projects like overwatch 2 and diablo 4 are still some ways away i feel the like nobody's really hyped up for overwatch 2 it's like people played the beta for like one day and now nobody's playing it anymore. It, it's kind of crazy. Like, I, I feel bad, right? I mean, I played the game. It's fun. But, like, you can't play that every day. I just don't... I don't, I don't know. Donkey video was a funeral for Overwatch 2? Yeah, I think that there were a lot of people that saw Overwatch 2 as Overwatch 1.1.
So they are coming out with a new World of Warcraft expansion, Imagine Dragonflight, that. that's in the works. You've got Wrath of the Lich King for World of Warcraft Classic. There was mention of Diablo Immortal, which is coming out on mobile on June 2nd. And I'm there excited. is a PC edition that's actually in the works. So for you guys out there yeah. who do not have phones, you are covered. Do you guys not have phones? But yeah, there we is a PC to. version of Diablo Immortal that they hope will help bolster sales and shine of a more course. positive PR on this project that was announced in the most tone-deaf way possible, and that was in large part what caused so much backlash. And then there is Diablo. I, I thought they just, honestly, I feel bad for the Diablo team. Like, I do. Like, I feel really bad for Wyatt Chang to have to go out there and announce that because, like, I mean, he's not stupid, right? I mean, like, he, I'm sure he, he knew that it was going to disappoint people, and it's like the odds are it wasn't even his decision. So they were just like, hey, we're going to make you go out there and announce this thing that's going to disappoint everybody. Have fun. That sucks, man. Yeah, but it's his job? Yeah, I, I know. I, I feel bad for a lot of people like having to do their job. Yeah, there's a lot of bad shit. Like that is, Of course it's his job, right? But it sucks. Before in Overwatch 2, which they've mentioned development is progressing well. We have been getting impressions from folks who have played the closed beta of Overwatch 2. And generally, from what I'm hearing, uh -oh. at least as far as the multiplayer component is concerned, it's kind of more of the same, just kind of tweaked with a lot of the sequel justification coming on the PvE side of things, the campaign stuff that they're shipping alongside this multiplayer update. We'll see how that goes. And then finally... I don't think that's bad. I think people, to a degree, are too negative about Overwatch 2 because the truth is that if you are just a multiplayer player, like let's say you just want to continue playing Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2 is free. If you own Overwatch 1... You get everything multiplayer from Overwatch 2 for free. That's awesome. Yeah, like that's I, I don't I feel like Blizzard doesn't even like they don't even say this. Like well, why are they not saying this? I, I don't understand. Only PvP? Yeah, of course. Like, why are you not saying this? Like, they should be like saying this, like, hey, listen, like this is a free fucking game, right? Get a brand new it said on announcement day. Yeah, and people forget about it. Uh, people are just missing information about Overwatch 2. There's six heroes, not one. Maps change dynamically. There's testing stuff per build-by-build -build basis. Yeah. I, I'm excited for the game. I'm sorry. I, I am. I, I hope that it's good. We have information on the Candy Crush Division King. And as far as that endeavor is concerned, apparently they've been growing steadily. Yeah. Saw in-game net bookings jump 8% year over year. Player numbers across all King games grew by a double-digit percentage year over year. So on the mobile front, Activision Blizzard has remained relatively steady and has seen some growth in certain areas. But when it comes to console and PC gaming, which is you know the bread and butter of Activision Blizzard, that's where... There have been some financial struggles when it comes to maintaining stability and maintaining growth. I think that's an indicator that part of this is because of COVID. Because obviously mobile games are growing organically, but people play mobile games even in a more like active lifestyle. You see what I'm saying? Like it's like because if you're playing mobile games, you can play those at, at work. You can play those, you know, whenever you're at your office, uh, whenever you're on break or something like that. But you can't play a PC game probably in the same way uh, and have it be as incognito. You, you see what I'm saying? So I, I think that that is actually more of an indicator that a big reason for this is because of COVID. Because of projects that have been pushed back Gaming and on the some clock. projects That's right. that haven't been well received on top of the negative PR surrounding Activision Blizzard heard of that. that has pushed away a number of players who just cannot support this company anymore so long yeah. as Bobby Kotick remains the leader and the CEO of the company. The, the hope is that with the Microsoft acquisition, that he will, will turn into the overlord. And then they can't complain about him being CEO anymore because he's not CEO. He's the overlord. That's totally different, guys. Yeah, so that's what I think is going to happen change Activision Blizzard will see completely new management a completely different structure with Microsoft kind of overseeing everything and hopefully they'll really work hard to improve the work culture of the company and the development processes so that Activision Blizzard can start seeing an upwards climb 
towards becoming a better game publisher. I really it's important so. to keep in mind that yeah. the Microsoft deal is still ongoing and isn't 100% assured yet. It seems very likely that it will ultimately go through, but there's I still some too. hurdles. While the board of directors has approved of Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard, there are still regulatory hurdles from the government mm -hmm. that they have to overcome, so we'll see how but that They got over out. one of them. But the general hope is that this acquisition does go through because Activision Blizzard is so poorly managed there's so i think that's the way a lot of like fans of the games feel is like we just like at this point it's like i think most people think to themselves how can it get worse that's fine let's go with this let's see what happens so much complacency when it comes to corruption and mistreatment of employees that the microsoft yeah, can't get worse right guys could pave the road for a far more positive future for this company that is in dire need of new leadership. Bobby Kotick needs to go, and there just needs to be someone to right this ship that has gone astray for the past few decades. And the the truth is, Bobby Kotick made them a lot of money. Like y y Bobby is, is a, 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 a goblin, but if you look at the graph, Bobby made them a lot of fucking money. So that's why they're not getting rid of him. A few decades? Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't think he's going to be going anywhere. That That's my opinion. At what cost? Well, not, well, the stockholders don't care about the reputation of the company. By that time, they're going to be retired. And then, they, they, then that one's dead. Somebody else will do another one. Yeah, that's just... The thing is, they're not going to get rid of Bobby. I really don't think they're going to get rid of Bobby. As I said before, I think we have not seen the end of Bobby Kotick. I think that right now... What we're looking at right now, this is like a phase transition. Like we were in phase three and we're getting ready for the transition into phase four. In time, though, Activision Blizzard you know? has been doing everything in their power to bury it's, it's like internal where the villain issues goes under off the, the rug and with this you know, recent report up. from New Salad. The Verge published on April 29th, 2022, reporting that Activision Blizzard has once again been accused of threatening employees for speaking Who out using coercive this? methods. This is not the first time Who something could have like expected this that? has been reported. The company behaving like scumbags while saying in the same breath that they're all about employees having voices their voices oh, are yeah. heard and they're all about employees speaking out and expressing their umbrage so that the company can improve it's all corporate speak it's all bs it was reported here that an employee was threatened by a manager after posting an article about the lawsuit in slack and discussing holding activision blizzard accountable with other co-workers according to former blizzard senior task analyst jessica gonzalez the company has a pattern of retaliation against workers who speak out. Of course they do. And, I mean, if you've been following the headlines surrounding yeah, this Activision is true. Blizzard, that information should come Absolutely. as no surprise. In light of the latest financial briefing and some of the latest developments surrounding Activision Blizzard, its stock price has taken a hit with this CNBC article from April 27th, 2022, reporting that as Microsoft rallies for the acquisition, Activision Blizzard sinks to lowest price since deal news. And looking at the stock price right here, seeing the journey that it's gone through, you can see a major crash here starting 2008, but then it swings back up throughout 2021, only for that to crash again as reports of its awful treatment of employees began to come out. And then with the Microsoft acquisition yeah, went up news a lot. coming out, the stock kind of went back up. I feel then... like all the stocks are down. I wouldn't really say this is something that's uh, necessarily their fault. Yeah, the the entire the entire market has been down, so it, it's like, wh what does this really mean? It's kind of stabilized here, but it's tech is swinging back down, down yeah. again with the latest financial report. So it's definitely been tumultuous. Well, I, I think tech probably like this is. I'm not. I'm not a financial expert, right? But like, what I'm assuming is that like before COVID, tech was this big, and then during COVID, tech was this big, and now after COVID, tech is like this big. So like the difference between like those two circles is what the contraction is because of. Because people just like invested more and more money into it, and they thought it was going to be even bigger than what it was. And uh, COVID's over. Yeah, COVID's pretty much over, guys. Like, I mean, it, it is. Um, people aren't wearing masks anymore. Nobody cares. Uh, people have just decided that it's over. They're tired of wearing masks. It's just not going to happen anymore.
times for yeah. Activision Blizzard, though Bobby Kotick hopes to seemingly make a swift escape with a golden parachute as according to ah. this report from the Wall Street Journal Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick could walk away with more than 500 million dollars after Microsoft deal that's a combination Isn't of severance as well as stock rewards there is a glimpse of the article here that reads in a securities filing Friday Activision said Mr. Kotick would receive 14.4 million dollars in severance that's a lot. if he is terminated or quits under a variety of circumstances within a year of a change of control at the company it also said Mr. Kotick owns 4.3 million shares and has the right to acquire another 2.2 million, potentially worth just over $500 million combined at the $95 a share deal price. That's what sucks about all of this. Despite Bobby Kotick being in large part responsible for all the awful goings-ons within the company, yep. he still gets to leave, land on his feet with more That's money right. than he probably knows what to do with. And he just That's gets right. to live his life, and it's freaking BS. Let's not pretend that the law... That's right. Listen, it's Bobby's world. That's right, guys. You've got to keep it in mind. Don't ever forget it. It's Bobby's world. You're just it's living everyone in it. Equally, the rich absolutely have a major advantage on that front. Yeah, but here in America, you're not guilty before proven innocent, or you're not innocent before proven guilty. You're guilty until proven wealthy. You know, if... Bobby Kotick can be ousted from Activision Blizzard from the games industry if he can just frickin' retire for the love of God or just never grace the gaming landscape ever again. At the very least, that'll be some kind of win, even though it's still far from ideal yeah. that he gets to leave with so much money in his pockets. Money made off of the exploitation of the workers under him. Isn't that right? The exploitation of customers and players and communities and the desecration of certain game franchises, game IPs, and game launches. At least under new leadership, there'll be some hope that things can turn around for Activision Blizzard, that games can be made with more integrity, with less focus on factory producing them out there, giving Blizzard the autonomy that they once used to have so they can do their best work, and just the encouragement uh, to push for more innovation. That's what Blizzard used to be. They used yeah, to be industry leaders when He's it comes right. to just Absolute setting the standard really. for yeah. the various genres that they've tackled, but lately they've become a shadow of their former self, and fingers crossed that Microsoft's acquisition will right that ship. But, obviously, the future is unwritten. Only time will tell how this will all play out. In the meantime, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on Activision Blizzard's latest financial report, what you think this means for the this future video for of the company both before and after you go. Microsoft's acquisition, should that eventually come to pass. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out. So that's why you guys were typing that in chat. I was like wondering. People kept saying Young out. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Because uh, I, I think that I had paused the video before I even finished it. Okay. It's very hard to tell how much of this is actually a... Uh, uh, how much of this is actually because of COVID. How much of this is because of market contraction. How much of this is because of recession. How much of this is because of a bad product cycle. Uh, I think that the obvious answer to that is all of the above. Uh, all of these things have contributed to them losing money. It's not really a surprise. But I think that it really depends on on what the games are going to look like going forward and if the games are better then i think people are going to be more okay with it right um you know was one of the new voice actors from new villains and jojo really every gaming company went uh went up during COVID, aside from blizzard and you're not wrong like that actually is true every other gaming company pretty much went up and they got a lot of money blizzard did not so i think it's not entirely because of COVID as well because you can control for that there you fucking go mobile's gonna blow up for sure I hope that the new WoW mobile game does well. I really do. I hope so. But I think this is a pretty good synopsis in general. But um, I, I think that in general, I would say that uh, this kind of stuff is going to... Uh, it, it's not going to be that big of a surprise for anybody.